And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Garen. It's our second random champion uh, deck. This one is going to be a pretty strong one, I think. This is basically built this kind of like the uh, Garen Poppy deck that we played quite a bit of with Ionia and uh, Demacia, Swiftwing Flight, a bunch of challengers, that kind of stuff with Garen is a pretty strong combination. But then we're also just going to have Karma as our other champion, where Karma will just kind of be our top-end champion. Um, this round-end create random spells is going to be pretty solid, because Demacia and Ionia have very uh, solid spells for us to be creating, so you'll be creating those. Uh, so it's not really too much about this leveled-up Karma, um, unless, you know, like, unless we have two Karmas, and then the one leveled-up Karma, you know, will make double inside of ages, and that gets super powerful. So we're going to be doing some powerful stuff with that. Um, but really, you know, it's just like another good spell heavy champion, but we'll have our, um, challengers and, uh, young witch and bright steel protector and all that good stuff. I'm going to be playing two copies of green glade lookout. I really wanted to fit these in. It was, it was difficult to fit them in. Um, had to take out a river shapers. So we're only going two river shapers, but I thought this could be really cool of like reduce Garen or karma since our two champions cost five, like reduce either of those to four mana. I thought that could be really cool. And then, you know, we can have, like, round four Karma, round four Garen. I don't know. We'll we'll kind of give that a try. We'll see how the Green Glade Lookout does. Um, but uh, besides that, um, that that's kind of about it, you know? And then it's just kind of normal Challenger stuff. You get you get Sharp Sight and Twin Disciplines with Challengers. Like, that's awesome. So, and a couple of Rangers Resolves. So, usually with random Champion decks, we uh, take them on over to normal because, you know, like, they're pretty random and everything like that. But this one, considering I've played a lot of Ionia Demacia, usually do pretty good. I think this is going to be a good solid deck. I'm going to go ahead and try this one out in ranked instead of normal. So let's go play some ranked games. I think this deck's going to be strong enough to, um, you know, hold its own. Hold its own. Like we may not, you know, go five and zero in ranked, but I think we can hold our own in ranked. So let's go and give this a try. So we got Ezreal Trundle. Probably a concurrent timeline stack, would be my guess. I feel like we should only keep one of the two three mana cards, but I like both three mana cards. I think we'll keep River Shaper, considering uh, they're a most likely a more control style deck, so we wanted to have our card draw. You know what? Let's just have both three drops. We can just have them both. <laughs> Greenglade Lookout. We see through all. You're a little late there, Greenglade Lookout. Break their spirits and their swords. Oh, this is my opponent. They could frostbite. Like if they have three sisters, uh, I guess well they can't have Fury the North Three Sisters, but yeah, they have Frostbite. Oh, I can't play another spell. Never mind. So. Alright, that's how that goes. River shape the land and give it life. A true Fragorian welcome. Rude. You call this a hardly fair. Looks like we will not river shape the land. So we both have five cards in hand. We have two units in play. They have one. So we're doing just fine. I thought you'd never ask. That one's kind of a problem. I don't miss. That one's kind of a problem. Create a random spell at the end of the round. Let's do that. Firing. An auspicious season. Yeah, it is cool that we're playing against a different deck in ranked. That is cool. Yeah, you because know, we're also playing a different deck. That's pretty cool. Ooh, that could be nice. For justice, for Demacia. 
No. I can't even Ranger's Resolve save that. This would be a good winter. Ours is the will of Ionia. Oh, that hurts. What else we got? Purify. Ooh, okay. So I'm hoping they're buffing up some uh, follower, <laughs> you know, with the Starlet's here. And then we can purify it. Uh, if there's any new posts today, I've not seen them, no, Arose. One shot, all skill. Okay. Fight. So Ezreal at 5 out of 6, so one target on me makes that... Makes that 6. Alright, so if we... Uh, Ranger's Resolve, that's going to be 2, then 2. So we'll kill Karma. So if we Twin Disciplines... Oh, no, no, it'd be two, then one, which would still kill Karma. So Twin Disciplines just cancels that out. And Karma stays alive. All right, now Karma has more health. Okay, so this green glade lookout looks pretty good, right? We have uh, no units in play. <laughs> or no units in hand. To reduce the cost of. Hey, there we go. I don't know if that counts, though. Sweep them away. Go and draw two. Cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this actually did anything. Plus five, plus five. Alright, so only one spell in their top five cards. They're going to be drawing a lot of units here. And that one spell's an avalanche, huh? That seems like a good time to use that. And probably a good time to use this. Dude, Karma is sweet. <laughs> Grading just random spells all the time. We're getting some sweet spells. You dropped something. Oh no, my Vanguard's Edge. No. All right, I'm over it. Oh, that's brutal. Okay. So we will kill this by strike. Strike. Did we reduce Karma's cost? Nah, we didn't. So this syncopation plus level up karma is pretty useless because <laughs> you cast it twice. So it like swaps and then swaps them back. <laughs> so syncopation is going to be useless once we play leveled up karma. That's pretty funny. Okay, so Ro says that for yeah, because the next time they're going to be updating cards, they did say was January. So for January five six, maybe better to grab the Fleet Feather Tracker. No, we'll just grab this. January said the Poppy Lecturing Yordle and Vandal City Mayor are going to be getting nerfed. Okay, okay. And Scion is being looked at. So there's no way for me to kill them this round. It's like we seek a patient, swap, 
these two. And we can do five. Is it worth doing five? Or do we just wait? We sacrifice a bird to do five. Put him down to three. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably worth it. The problem here being, of course, that the Ice Pillar then kills the Swiftwing Flight. I don't know. Maybe that's not worth it. This is going to be close. This is going to be close because this leveled up Karma doesn't really do anything now. I... You know, we want, like, non-leveled up Karma, honestly. Or we need to draw another Karma. But we want to round... You know, we would much rather round and create random spell from your regions than this. Yeah, that's... That's a problem. That's a big problem. I guess we do create two resonating strikes. One mana off of playing both those. Oh yeah, that's that's a good point, Vuj, because we have I didn't even I didn't even uh, I didn't think about that, but that's something good to think about for the future. I didn't think about how like whenever we picked our three, if I choose blinding assault, uh, when we have you know we play level up karma, we get to double blinding assault, and so we can have two um you know, scouts instead of non-scouts. I didn't really consider that. That's a good point. I thought we were going to be winning this game for sure, but then the the double avalanche back-to-back -back rounds, which, of course, one was grabbed off, off to the Archivist. It was just unfortunate it was the very next card also. I can kill both their champions. I use both my cards. We kill both their champions. I can't do lethal damage, though, because we, we don't have Overwhelm. So I can basically either kill this or Twin Disciplines the Karma and kill the Trundle. Yeah, I guess we should kill Trundle. No way. Oh, come on. Wow. Come on, can we draw another Karma? Yes, because we just need spells. This doesn't have the round end spell thing. Man, what a great draw. Four spells. Four spells. All right. Got some cool spells. That was just the perfect draw. That's a way they could buff up Karma if they want, because they've been doing that with some other champions, just like that, how like the level 1 champion has an ability and then the level 2 doesn't have it anymore. I kind of think that they should just kind of do that with all the champions. Like so like this also has round end create a spell. I don't know. That could be that could be a nice little buff. Yeah. That was the perfect draw. Great way to end the game. Good job Karma. See that's why we have Karma in the deck. Karma Garen, want to know? Yeah, you're saying Ascended Zareth, like that thing, like landmark destruction goes away on Ascended Zareth? Yeah, it shouldn't. Ascended Zareth should still destroy stuff. You're, you know, deal damage on landmark destruction. Caitlyn Swain dealing damage is going to be kind of a problem, isn't it? Let's keep the Witch, keep the Sharp Sight, look for a Challenger. Yeah, that was a super clutch draw. These kind of decks are usually difficult for small unit Demacia Ionia decks to handle. They just kill all your stuff. Hopefully Karma kind of changes that by giving you some extra card advantage, giving you those spells.
unfortunately here we don't have any don't have any challengers I'll try anyone Hey, that's a good card. Bottom the trail. That's not a good card. What do these yodel eyes see? They'll never see it coming. You like frogs, huh? Now we wait. Really hope that top card is not the Thinks and that kills the lookout, but I guess I mean it's not that big a deal if it does. Alright, four mana Garen. Do your thing. Four mana Garen, pretty cool. So do we attack? So it looks like they want to block with Crimson Disciple and then use removal spell. Could be, you know, like a, a deal three, could be a ravenous flock, anything like that. Do we attack in when we have twin disciplines? I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think we kind of force him to do that. Considering that's what they probably want to do. Let's actually play the Screen Glade Lookout. Too. Let's go and tackle that thing too. If they just block the Lookout and then take five, I'm okay with that, I think. Okay. Oh, they can still have Flock. No Flock, no Flock, no Flock. Yeah, no Flock. Awesome. No flock, no flock, no flock. <laughs> I smell a rat. Where'd she go? Please, Bob. We try and do kill my witch. Can kill my witch. Plan is karma post combat. Let's talk this out. That's probably fine. I think I'd rather just get karma in play. We, must not relent. we don't need to, you know, have that available to block an elusive anyway anymore. This is looking good. No. Do damage to Garen, not Karma. <laughs> yeah, chat says, I respect the guy for trying Caitlyn Swain. Yeah, and they're, they're going with a different version of Caitlyn Swain. You know, whenever I've played the deck, I've always gone, like, control heavy. They're going aggro heavy, you know, going Boom Crew Rookie and Legion, Saboteur and stuff. Hey, thank you, Mobile Gamer. Thank you. Says you built this deck well. Thank you. Sorry, opponent. That's just such a killer when you have to just waste your entire turn on Thermo Beam. Just happens sometimes. Yeah, it's just such a killer. Uh, so we just play the Challenger. And Healer Nexus for six. That one is over. 2 and 0. Lurkers. This is more what we usually see here in Ranked. Just a bunch of Lurkers. Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to keep single combat. I'll, I don't know. I kind of want to keep it. Hmm. We're definitely keeping Young Witch, Protege, Sharp Sight. Like, all that's good. Oh, we don't have the attack token on three? That's lame. I kind of want to keep the single combat. I don't know. We'll send it back. You know what? Let's keep it.
Okay, so they missed the first lurk. Hit the second lurk. No Rek'Sai lurk, thankfully. Oh, I would have loved to play you last round. Yeah, I, I'm not playing any Deny Notify. Yeah, no Deny for the Pike ability. For, yeah, I... That's like the one reason why I really want to play Deny right now is because of all the people playing Lurk and the, the Pike Lurk. But I don't have that. I really want the spell mana. Ooh. Rewarded for keeping spell mana. It's a 4-3. Only if, only if we would have made the Garen cost 4 and we could have had both single combat and sharp sight to, you know, like we... Sharp sight here. Because we sharp sight here, they use the whatever it's called, Bone Skewer. I always forget the name of that card. They Bone Skewer. Then if we would have had single combat in response, that would have been perfect. But we don't. Is the first of many this just has to work. Ruthless Predator is the worst! Oh, I was going to say they're... Oh man, I was going to say they're... Probably not playing Ruthless Predator, right? Oh boy, that is the worst. So good news, they have one card. Bad news, that card could definitely kill us because I don't really have very much left now. So we know it's a lure card on top. So as long as it's not death from below, I feel pretty good about this as long as that's not death from below. Well, by pretty good about this, I mean we're killing these things. <gasps> so that, God, I just hope that's just a regular unit. Please just be a regular lurk unit. Oh, <laughs> that better not be death from below. Just be a regular lurk unit. Oh, come on. How? Like anything else? So they had two two pikes, thirty one cards. If like they could have Rexai, they could have anything else besides specifically Pike. Literally anything else. Literally anything else, and we win that game.
Two out of 31 chance. Can't believe we lost that. You know, they had to have that, that Ruthless Predator. <laughs> you know, they had to have that guard. Or, sorry, yeah, Ruthless Predator. Yeah, that card. Yeah. And the Bone Skewer is big, but... Man. There's such a slim chance of us losing that game. So they don't have Ruthless Predator. Our Garen stays alive. Things are great. Oh, well. I guess we already lost this game, I guess. Break their spirits and their souls. Strength in grace, beauty in the play. I bear a message from... Oh, hey, what's that? No time to rest. I can do this. Guess we're going. It's difficult to, like, these things are difficult to uh, kind of play, you know, and, and figure out exactly what you know, direction you want to put it in and everything. They're not easy to d determine what to do. So do we do that, we do that, we take 9. If I sharp sight block Zoe, we take 13. Could Sharp Sight block Zoe and leave the Tiari alive? Take seven down to eight. For king and country. Useful to have one more mana, so if I want to play the Sonic Wave. Okay. What I'm scared of now is that they have another one of those, if they're just willing to throw that one away so quickly. No, that's just until end of round. That's Akash. It's just silence this round. So the Garen will not have regen. So, you know, like if we want to challenge with Garen, it doesn't regen. But we'll count as the strike. Oh, it doesn't count the strikes, so never mind, still zero out of two. Yeah, they had another one of those. That's all I was worried about, was another one of those. Yeah. Then they also had a cheap spell to play. Man, these the last two losses are pretty tilting. I feel like it's going to be kind of difficult to keep two fives. I do like Garen plus single combat. That will be for if we start behind, which of course we will start behind if we keep those two. No, we can't. It is um, FAQ enabler, yeah. Taking four down to sixteen. For the tribe. Ready, aim. We swim within the flows of magic. 
Their deck has lots of one damage things. It's not worth. Oh man. Ouch. It wasn't worth doing any kind of blocking, putting the young witch down to one health. We're not dead yet. We would like the Lifesteal Barrier card. That would be pretty nice to have. We fight for those who cannot. Judgment could be a spicy one. Passing isn't too bad. Hey, Spirit's Refuge. Preventing them from playing anything else. And now, you know, we, we're pretty stable now. You know, now we have the same amount of mana. We got a good board. Yeah, no tie today. It's it's casual Friday. So on Fridays, um, for the people who like seeing me in a polo instead of a tie, I uh, just wear a polo shirt instead. Wear a tie the other six days of the week. I really yeah, I, I do not mind noob questions one bit. So absolutely, feel free to ask noob questions. So the cosmetic items in the game are like card backs, guardians, and skins. Are are they only able to be bought with IRL currency? Correct. Yep. That is the only way to purchase those, and that is their. Um, okay, so we're gonna single combat that. So we level up Garen. Uh, do we want to twin discipline? So that's that's like the. Um, that's like the way that Riot makes money off the game. They want it to be where you're able to play and earn all the cards. And so that's how they make their money off the game is the cosmetics. Basically, do I want to save Bryce Protector or not? That's what I'm trying to determine. I don't know. I don't know. So all I did was save the Young Witch, but it also levels up my Garen. I wanted to be able to do those two things. And so I have Twin Disciplines and Spirits Refuge to protect Garen. Good draw, good draw. Gives me a little bit of Garen protection in case we need it. I'm not sure that we will, but just in case. Deal me in. Oh, that's such a good card for them. Hold it, partner. So now what? Now we pray that's not fast speed one damage. I can I can twin disciplines plus three plus zero, the young witch, and then judgment. And if that's fast speed damage, we lose. If it's not, we win. This way, go. Or do we just try to block with stuff? Try to use Spirit's Refuge. Cause that's going all in on that.
All right, back to 13. All right, cool. So that was the good part about that, that lifesteal being able to do lifesteal plus three plus zero line. It was just a much safer line than going for the judgment. And looks like it worked. Okay, so random champion deck, and we still ended up three and two in ranked. We also were so, I mean, we were close to a 5-0 to be honest, but so close to a 4-1. We had lurkers exactly where we wanted them, and they they had to hit pike off of, you know, like they had no cards left. They had to hit pike, and it, so they had two pikes out of 31 cards. So we win that game 29 out of 31 times, but that was one of the two out of the 31 that we lost. Um, and then, you know, there's that crazy, t you know, losing to Tiari. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often, but they had a, a super fast hand. Um, and then the double Moonlight Affliction to finish that out, surprisingly enough. But that's how it goes. Um, you know, so some kind of some bad luck losses there. Uh, but I really liked the deck. I thought it, it felt strong. I think the Karma's honestly looked pretty good. You know, like this is the kind of deck that you'd usually play Poppy in. But the Karma's did look good. You know, giving us that, like, late game and just creating spells. All the spells that you create in these regions are awesome. So it was good against... You know, like, where these decks struggle against removal-heavy decks, and that's where Karma's great against is the removal-heavy decks. So it, it kind of gives you, like, that nice little bit there. Um, the Green Glade Lookout was, you know, kind of, eh. <laughs> you know, it was, it was all right at times. Like, there, there was the time that we got to play it, like, round three, and then make a round, you know, get a round four Garen. That was awesome. The other time's not so great. Um, maybe I could, I could see going three River Shapers and one Green Glade Lookout. You know, maybe you get the Lookout, but, you know, you don't really need... Don't need to draw them in the late game and stuff like that. And River Shaper able to get you those extra spells. Um, you know, I could see doing that too. So if you're if you're unimpressed with the lookout, feel free to do that instead. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of uh, Karma Garen. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck. Um, you know, that's what the, the random champions are just combinations that we wouldn't normally play, right? Because Karma and Garen have been out since the beginning. You know, they were part of the Foundations expansion at the very beginning of the game, and I don't think I've ever played Karma and Garen before. So that's that's the great part about random champions. And and honestly, um, like I was saying, they, they looked good together. So cool, cool. Um, it's nice playing Karma in a proactive deck, too. I wanted to mention that where a lot of times you play Karma in a super reactive deck, and so your opponent's like saving all their removal and saving all their spells for Karma, and so it's really hard for Karma to stay alive and everything, being three health. Um, but if you're playing in a super proactive deck like this, like where you're just like challenging in combat quite a bit, you're in combat quite a bit back and forth, your opponent's having to use their spells to kind of keep up and that kind of stuff and, and keep the board even and, and so on, and then boom, then you drop Karma and they don't have the removal left. Or you also now, you know, you, you can keep a Twin Disciplines, Sharp Sight, that kind of stuff available too. And then your Karma um, can uh, really finish out the game with, with that round end, create the spell from the regions. I just really wish that the leveled up Karma still had that round end, create a random spell from your regions. We saw that hurt us quite a bit um, later on in the game, like where we just wanted round, we just wanted the, this Karma. We just wanted to keep on making spells. We didn't, you know, like, I don't really care about this thing as much. Um, and that almost uh, lost us the first game. But we we top decked to second Karma and got Inside of Ages right in time. All right, anyway, that's going to be it, though, for Karma Garen. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.